Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day filled with only positive vibes. Today, we got another Road to Diamond video, but it's gonna be a little different of a video. We are not gonna be grinding a specific gun, but it's gonna be a tips and tricks video. But to be specific, I wanna give you guys the most efficient way to level up as well as grind camos together so that that way you're not spending hours and hours on end as well as wasting all your XP cards. A lot of people have asked me how to do it, and I decided, you know what, let's make a video about it. It's gonna be like a series of videos. Part of the Road to Diamond is going to be basically how to efficiently grind specific guns. So for today, it's just going to be a general overview, but we're going to be doing SMGs, AR shotguns, so that those who do want to get the diamond when it comes out eventually, or just get gold for any gun, you guys can do it, and this will be the best way to level up that gun as well as getting the camo. Anyway, guys, a quick disclaimer. All of this is going to be from my live stream, so trouble.live slash the hitman as well as youtube.com slash the hitman live. So make sure to follow me there. First pin comment. And another disclaimer, this is going to be meant for specifically to use without the double XP cards. However, I do use it in this because I wanted to grind it out on stream. But this method is meant to use not double XP cards. But if you do want to use double XP cards, it will make it a lot faster. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys at the end. Just kind of want to show the best way to grind these gun skins. Um, not everybody's going to have a, a large amount of XP cards. So this is going to be the best way to do it. Mine's gonna be level eight already. I don't know how. Oh, I know why. I played BR with it, but typically speaking, you might not even be level eight. You're gonna check the camo to see what you can unlock. So you can see like what level unlock a bunch of them. So my recommendation is if you can, you play a couple games in the beginning if you want to, but you don't have to. You can actually level it up to level 10 and then afterwards do the challenges. The main reason for that is that you can do two at two for the same price as one, I guess we say. But you guys can see I'll upgrade it using our blue one here. And then we'll use our purple one to get to level 10. And we'll use the or green one. I don't know if I was going to say orange. But like I mentioned, you can see. Then you have the double camo. The next one will be unlocked at level 18. So essentially, the whole point of this is that you want to level it up to the point you at least have a camo to grind. So this way, you can level up the gun skin at the same time as playing. That's why I don't personally like maxing it out unless I'm doing content. But you guys will see the first task here is to get like 400 kills. Oh, actually, they changed how the, the camo thing um, thing kind of works. That's kind of cool. And then the second thing is going to be getting hip fires. So if possible, you can try to build the hip fire. You can see five hip fire. How many? 75 hip fire, you can combine both of them together. You don't have to, you can straight up just get kills because you kind of want to maximize this because you still have to get 400 kills in the end. So just equip whatever you can, doesn't really matter. And then you should have two classes, obviously one with vultures, so you don't have to have to worry about dying. And then afterwards, I typically go with, uh, let me just um, copy this onto seven. So we actually have, is it seven? No, five. Copy onto five. And that way we still have a cold-blooded class because the map we're going to be playing doesn't be a lot of people on cold-blooded. I recommend usually hardpoint and you want to do specifically shipment just because it's fast map, you get a lot of kills and stuff like that. Typically I would do hip fire with no attachment, but since we're trying to level up the gun at the same time, you kind of want to get all the kills you can at the same time. That's so good. Can I kill this guy here? And just focus on getting kills. Don't even focus about... Don't, don't even focus about anything else. Like, don't focus about headshots. Don't focus about long shot because you're specifically working on this. So that's what you really want to do right now. Get as much hit fire kills as you can or just kills in general. Just focus on getting the kills with hit fires as now because you want to get 75 hit fires if possible in one game. So yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, when you get four levels. So we have we've completed all the hit fires. So that's good. We're, we're getting close to all the um, the kills as well. So at this point now, this is what I usually recommend since you're level 15. You don't want to miss out on doing some of the other tasks. So as a camel, you can see, unlock this at level 18. So you're level 15 right now. Spend your XP cards to actually use it until you're level 18. So that way you don't spend all your XP cards. It's going to save you about half your XP cards if you have any. And ultimately, if you have double XP cards, that's when you want to use it. So I should have double XP cards. I forgot to mention that. But if we go to inventory, you should have gotten some in the beginning of the season. Apparently, I have probably a couple. Yeah, so you have the double XP card for the next 10 matches and you have the double XP cards for the next two hours. So you can combine both of them together, which would be fantastic. So in this situation, I will use both of them since we are going to be grinding at least 10 games. Honestly, in 10 games, you should have completed all of your XP stuff. And now you can check what's the next one you need to do here. 
Uh, we're not gonna equip it, sorry. I want to put the dragon one. Splinter, which should be long shots, right? Yeah, so long shots. So this one, then you're gonna see if you can prepare any of your builds. Uh, we're just gonna look to see what build we can potentially do in long shot. You can even do this on um, uh, specific maps like shipment, but I recommend high rise uh, kill confirm. But let's go kill confirm on long rise. <laughs> long rise. I called it long rise, chat. Okay, this is gonna be the hard part. Yeah, long shot. Okay, you can actually move closer. Okay, like tap fire from this range. No. Oh, I didn't mean to confirm that. Because that was a, we did get 25 long shots. Oh wait, we did unlock this, nice. What is it, full attachments, right? Yeah, so we're good. We can do both at the same time, so that's really, really clutch. All right, let's jump into, instead of uh, high rise, we will go on rust, I think it's better. Reload, All right. Cover me. Long shot, nice. Nice. Oh, game was over. Dang it. All right, so. Uh, oh, we got our long distance. Nice. We still had, how many kills do we need? Uh, 200 something kills. About 200, maybe a little less. So full attachments, we need about, that's a lot of full attachment kills. So jungles at level 34. You can ultimately, if you want to level it up. However, I will just try to get these full kills. I want this to last a little longer, so I'm hoping my team... I, I got 100 killer drone. I don't think we got all my kills, but we should have leveled up enough so that we need to get our headshot next game, which I think we only need about 60 headshots. Tiger is the kills, so we still need about 112. So com combination of both together should be good. 80 headshots. And then the last one is the no attachments, which shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I got one headshot. Nice. I saw a guy behind me. All right, so we got it to level. So we got a few headshots. Oh, well. We got our Damascus. We didn't get the gold, but we got our Damascus. <laughs> you automatically get Damascus because you've already unlocked it. Yeah, once you get all of them. So we'll do no attachments and headshot at the same time, I think. How many headshots we need? We still need a lot of headshots. We almost got all the kills. You guys are camping so hard. Didn't get a headshot? Didn't get a headshot? Didn't get... Bro, tell me you spawned there. I switched off like near the second half. It's okay, I guess we'll get 35 now. Still gotta get the headshots, right? 20, 27 headshots. I got everything else. We got a headshot, that's good. All right. Wait, oh, you can unlock both at the same time now? That's cool, they didn't do this before. I don't know if you knew chat. Before you had to actually play a full game and then you get it, but now once you unlock all of them, that's pretty good. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if this method helped you guys out. Personally speaking, I think this is the best way to do it. It is super efficient and you don't have to waste all your purple XP cards. And it can take you about two hours, even less if you use your double XP cards, which you should be getting every single reset of the season. But let me know in the comments down below. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.